everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Bottles Down, the Beer Royale. I'm joined here tonight by Jade the G, brought Rose to a beer fight, Shuggy, guest, and myself. And we are here for the Beer Royale. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are we are now in the quarter quarterfinals here. So this is now we've advanced to the beer bracket. For those of us who have never seen the show before and don't know what's going on, we've just finished up our beer season. In which case, every person you see here collectively drank 200 beers. We rallied those to the very top, and now we're taking the very best beers we've had this season and we're smashing them against each other like action figures to see which one we like best. Tonight we're in the quarter. Yeah, yeah man. Tonight we're in the quarterfinals, which means we'll be taking on the Elysian Space Dust and the Voodoo Ranger. And here to tell us a little bit more about the Space Dust is Jay the G. Hey there, Jay the G here, drinking you know, a little bit of Space Dust in this cool little bottle here. Uh, Space Dust was founded in 1965 by aliens. <laughs> True, actually. <laughs> um, Really? Dude, I knew that was coming, and I was so excited that I did not know you were going to do that. Oh, that was too good. Space test. Uh, what is it? 91? Is that about right? Sure, 95. 95? Oh, is it range 91? Yep. No, I don't believe you. Sure anyway. Um, yeah, Space Dust is... I just had it up there. It's gone now, but it's got an 8.2% ABV. It's got 73 IBUs, so it's a little bit on the higher spectrum of IBUs. Um, the color, I didn't get a chance to look up the SRM, but it's pretty light, although I do like how cloudy it is. Um, it uses three different malts. Um, pale probably being the most predominant. C15 is a crystal malt, and Dexter Pills, which I've not heard of, but I'd love to try to use sometime. It has three hops, the Chinook, Citra, and the Armadillo. Or how some other people call it the Amarillo. Amarillo. And um, yeah, it's got. Some people say they get orange out of it. I'm not really big into orange in my beers, but they say it's in there. <clears throat> yeah, it comes out of Seattle, Washington. A pretty dang little beer. Nice. Good. I'm, all right, cool. We're going to move over to Rose for the introduction of the Voodoo Ranger. I'm not getting orange. I'm getting kind of some vibes of like maybe like a. Like a Orange blossom, maybe. Like some blossom? Kind of, like some kind of like lighter, but it doesn't have like a citrusy kick. But I'm, trying, awesome. I'm, I'm trying to think it's like closer to like an orange blossom honey that I've had once. Um, maybe a little bit of lemon? Yeah, man. Maybe. Brought Rose to a beer fight. Why don't you tell me about the Voodoo Ranger? Well, Voodoo Ranger is uh, from 95 and it's from New Belgium. And uh, I, I kind of like would like to see a meme of. 91, bro. Oh, 91? Fuck me in the dick. <laughs> no, wait. Voodoo Ranger. I thought it said 19... Reverse. Reverse. 1995 over here on this video that you sent me. So you should fix that. But anyway, <laughs> I'd like to see a meme of like the Voodoo Ranger guy looking at the Elysian Space Dust guy. And he's saying, like, who are you? And the Elysian Space Dust guy says, I'm you, but stronger. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of what I get from, like, I've been drinking both. They're both, like, as far as IPAs go, I really like both of them Mm -hmm. uh, quite a lot. I've been drinking them. uh, Try not to drink too many of them, you know, preserve them for the upcoming uh, you know, whoever wins, you know, I'm going to definitely indulge in the other one. But, uh, yeah, Voodoo uh, Ranger does have quite a battle tonight. But uh, I got to say there is something about it that does stick out. And um, I don't know. We'll figure it out over time. You're right. They are swapped out on the video. I keep forgetting that you have to switch them on the sides because the way I fuck up the text files. So, you son of a bitch. The New Belgium is, uh, if you guys saw the original promo video for Voodoo Ranger against Great Northern Port, this wouldn't be a question. It was 1991, and then the Elysian Brewing came out in 95. Uh, of course, it's the mixture of Seattle versus Colorado, of course. Um, of course. And then a little bit, I'll hop right back to J the G. So we have a good idea as to what each of these beers kind of represents, where they're coming from, what they're made of, what separates the two of them. Did we touch up at all at the fact that um, the Elysian's using a three-hot blend and the Voodoo Ranger's using a six-hot blend? Right, and the only one 
well, I guess there's two, the, Ch the Chinook and the Amarillo, what they both share. Um, I, pale malts together as well. I think it's that because mosaic's pretty fucking fruity as well. I don't know. <clears throat> that citra, I think, is what gives you that kind of mosaic. Can you, well, can you uh, walk us through the flavor? What's the boutique like? What's the taste? What are you getting? What? Tell me the tell me the journey for those of us at home who can't drink. Which one are we talking? Both? You want all fucking in? Yeah, we're doing the tasting section. So talk us through the space dust and talk us through the booty range and what you're getting about you. I keep going back and forth between smelling them. I can't decide which one I like more. Because mm -hmm. um, you can almost smell that the fucking space dust is creamy. It's just, it's it's easier to suck down to them beautiful lungs we all got. <clears throat> but, um, don't talk about our lungs. Yeah, my lungs are busted. You know shit about my lungs. I, I got a shitty nasal cavity, so I can't pick up uh, most smells. I don't, know what, I don't know what it is about the taste. I'm trying to clear. I it. can't really, I can't pinpoint the specific flavor that I'm getting out of it. Um, it's definitely piney. I know it don't smell and drink at the same time. There's a little <laughs> bit of citrus in there, but I don't know where where I'm getting that from. What exactly it is. Um, however, with the Voodoo Ranger. I don't. I don't mean this in a negative connotation, but it smells dirty. It smells. You know dirty what? And just. I don't know. It's like mm -hmm. it's like Shug's gym bag. Uh, I wasn't was getting that, but I do definitely. Sign me up. The That's smell exactly is what not. It's... Yeah, the smell's not as good as in this. The video. I mean, I, I'm used to drinking it out of the bottle, and I'll say it's definitely much different of an experience. But I will agree with you on that one. It, it does smell dirty. dirty. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where that's coming from either, but um, I would say that this the Voodoo Ranger is a little crisper. <clears throat> it's not. It's there's more of a, a bite to it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the shirts. Oh, man. Come on, man. All right, Rose. Yeah. Um, J the G, did we cut you off or did you kind of? No, go ahead. That's fine. Because you're kind of going about the boutiques. I wasn't sure if you're that one. Rose to the beer pipe. Talk us through the flavors, boutiques. What are you getting? What do you think? What are you smelling? All right. So the Voodoo Ranger has a little bit of a tastier vibe to it that I'm getting. Like when I drink it, there's something a little bit tastier. But the Elysian Space Dust. Panties purring again. It's a little bit more of a, like a, <laughs> like it tastes more like an IPA, but at the same time, it also tastes a little bit more smooth. I, it's so. That's what I'm saying, man. I do like so this. I, mean, I, I don't know, man. This is going to be a tough one. I'm, I'm enjoying both of them, but there's just little differences in them that throw me one way or the other. But I, I will say this Voodoo Ranger tastes a little bit better in my right now at this moment. But the smell, I agree with J to the G. I don't have a good sense of smell, but I can when I take a whiff of this thing, it definitely there's that that slightly bad, you know, like like gym yes. bag smell. <laughs> yeah, like a little bit like a like a garbage, like not hardcore in your face garbage smell, but there is something in there. I don't know what it is. I would, I would have just assumed it was me or the glass, but since J to the G said, it, I'm like, all right, yeah, there's. But I don't know. At the same time, there's a little bit of a tastier feel. I can't say what it is. It's not. I won't. I don't want to say sweeter, but it, I feel like I took a bite out of a candy, like a toffee candy or something. Well, with this one, this tastes more like a. Uh, what an IPA t should taste. When you say this one, can you clarify you're talking about? The Elysian space. space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space does taste more. I feel like uh, what is, but these, as far as IPAs go, these are both like what I go, what I would consider like really good. I like most IPAs. Though, so. Okay, cool. Um, let's get a little bit of diversification up in here. Um, Shuggy, you're a, another IPA enthusiast. Can you uh, break down the Booty Ranger and break down the Elysian Space Dust for us, please? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I am drinking my beers yet again in the same glasses. Thanks, Sam Adam, sponsor us. Um, so that I uh, can always get the same, you know, approach 
And then, uh, of course, I'm drinking a little water to, to clarify between. Um, but I, I definitely can tell a hop difference, uh, especially with the amount of hops. And typically, uh, I've had lots of, you know, hop, hoppy beers, like where they just put like 400 hops in the beer and like, this is called the, the hop exterminator. And he once had a beer presented to him by a rabbit, so he doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, and I didn't get that at all. Um, I was just like, well, why is it so hoppy? And so, uh, like, you could definitely tell there's more hops in the Voodoo Ranger. I, they taste very much like, hey, here's an IPA. But you can definitely hit more of a hop, multiple hop flavor out of the Voodoo Ranger. And I don't know if that's leaning towards being a positive thing. Or not right now. I just can't tell. Um, they're both very hoppy in the flavor. Um, it's I don't know. I'm just gonna have to keep. I, I really, I really am having a hard time. Gonna, Look at that. I'm gonna determine back. Yeah, I, I know. I was doing yeah. the same thing. I mean, I think I'm, it's, I'm sipping on the space us a little more. I think. I, I was too, at first, mm -hmm. and then the smells. You're right. I mean, even the smell there, there is, there's a slightly, I, I wouldn't know, I don't know if dirty is the right word. Uh, I get what you're saying by that. And I know you don't mean it in a bad way, of course. And I don't think any of us would. It almost, I wouldn't even say stronger, but there's just something else there with that smell that's, I, I, it's different. It's yeah. So and I think it, I think it could be a combination of, you know, having six hops over uh, three. I'd say it's a little yeah. overwhelming, as in it's like hard that, to place. That, that could be maybe the like I have to I have to keep I have to keep like trying to mute my nose when I go back in so I can try and get more of the so I can try to play something and uh, like especially when I'm trying to taste it as well. I I have to like clear it out just to try it out because I mean that was your thing too is I, I went from the space dust took two sips of that and I took one sip of the booty ranger and it's like okay yeah These are very different. Um, so it was just that's that's that was the thing that I was like I didn't want to try and skew my opinion so I'll I'll go next. Um, I didn't want to try and skew my opinions too much uh, early on from you know, like flavors and and scents and all that. Um, this is the Booty Ranger right here. Um, I also I, am I the only one who's thinking like I would say maybe this looks a little more hazy, but this is looking a little darker. Am I crazy in thinking that? Is there one getting Booty Ranger that's darker? <clears throat> uh, uh yeah, yeah, slightly darker. The the Elysian space does is more hazy, like uh, when uh, who who jizzed into that guy's uh, beer in American Pie? For sure, man. <laughs> <I hope so. laughs> Stifler's, uh, yeah, sure, Stifler's man. beer. He got jizzed into. I've never seen Star Trek. I'd say, uh, <laughs> I'd say, yeah, I'd say, um, in terms of. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'd say that in terms of in terms of like in terms of dealing with hoppiness for both and uh, talking about the bitter aspect that we were kind of bringing up in the video. I think it's um I think it's funnier because I think I would almost say that the Voodoo Ranger tastes more bitter, but I think it's just because it's a little more carbonated and it's kind of hitting you with that mouth feel from an onset, so it kind of crisps things a little bit harder. So I wouldn't say that it's it's kind of like a false positive where it's like. It is, but it also isn't. It's just because like how the how the elements of it are playing with each other. Um, but I would say, I would say they kind of play off each other interestingly, and I, I find myself teetering one way or the other about which one I'd end up choosing because I feel like every time I drink more of a Voodoo Ranger, I'm getting more of the fruity notes of the Elysian Space Dust because it's 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 kind of hitting more of a more of a center tone like it's kind of more of a wash I would say the Voodoo Ranger is uh, and so I think it's giving by comparison it's giving the Elysian elements and things to play off of that I wouldn't have normally got on if I'm just doing two or three of them without any comparison um, but it certainly is interesting you can definitely get definitely get a, a more uh, a more bitter tinge to the back that, that taste that I don't usually go for is a little more prominent in the Legion space does for me but I feel like the Voodoo Ranger does a good job of kind of washing it towards the forward. But I don't know if it, like, alleviates that 
But yeah, it's just, it's one of the, it's a really complex arrangement and it's a really complex comparison to have the two of them. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of hoping I come closer to a fucking conclusion when it comes to them devoting. But yeah, I'd say that both of them are extremely happy IPAs. Elysian is a little more, uh, I think I think Elysian is just a little more on the nose of what it is. You can more easily identify what the flavor you're looking for for the Elysian Space Test. And I think the Voodoo Ranger might be attempting to kind of be a party pleaser by just being like, there's a little bit of it for everybody, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I, agree I, think, with that. I think that might be the angle that they're going for. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of, as those are my, uh, I guess, first impressions I go with. Um, Panty. Not to, Sorry, not to interrupt that. before Panny actually goes, uh, but something but that just... I think I'm totally going to, uh, something that clarifies maybe something that we're all feeling or thinking. If you read the Voodoo Ranger bottle, mm -hmm. uh, on the label before the government warning, drink responsibly. Uh, it says Indian pale ale brewed with spice. Yep, it was so funny. I was just thinking, like I'm getting like almost like a pepper note at the end. I thought it was there's, fucking there's, nuts. Yeah, and so <laughs> when I read that, I was like, huh. And then, and then if you read, of course, the description on the space dust, it tells you simply, you know, pretty much what we've all been saying based on their the hops and and I, I assume the dry hops that they're doing in this uh, definitely. Uh, change flavors and stuff, but I thought that was really interesting. It said spice. I took a sip and I was like, "Hmm, maybe that's what it is." So, yeah, Penny, what you got? Um, I think a lot of you guys have kind of hit it on the nose. I was thinking about this, the Voodoo Ranger, and how I do like you know we were talking about last or you know, two weeks ago, like the piney notes, like the citrusy notes. It does still remind me of Jen just a little bit, but in comparison to the Elysian Space Dust, you really notice how less juicy it is. I'm not going to say that it's like, like it falls a little flat, but I really think the Elysian Space Dust has like a mouthfeel that's a lot more like it pops a lot more. Um, also, I think that the dirtiness I almost smell like like mushrooms. Like it's almost like like it's like an earthy, like a, like a jungle floor like like smell to it, which isn't necessarily bad. It's not Would bad you say at all. It's with spice? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say that like if there's spices, they scooped them up off the fucking jungle floor, which is fine. Jungle floor I'm, is yeah, no, and I'm, I'm 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 in on it. I'm feeling it. Uh, I just don't know what spices they mean. I wish they could clarify. Fucking Polly, pull that up. I'm pretty sure it's Star Wars spices. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I don't um I don't know what that is, but it um <laughs> I still like it a lot. It doesn't have that same like dune spices. It helps you the communicate. Spice, the spice must it. flow. We all know that. Come on. Um, I do agree that the uh, Lysian Space Dust has that that creaminess to it. It has that really nice kind of like 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 not thick, but like nice like foamy mouthfeel to it. Like it, it has a body to it that's really nice. And I know uh, Jada the G there was saying that he didn't really get the orange feel. I'm getting orange all day, baby. Oh, shit smells baby. like shit smells like orange peel, like straight up, and like I like it. Like I don't really like like citrusy like notes in my coffee, for example. Get that shit out of here. But in my beers, yeah, I'll take a little citrusy note. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, completely, Who the fuck puts citrusy stuff in my coffee? <laughs> I'm telling you, like, have you ever had like a super light coffee? It tastes like fucking orange juice. It's Yo, terrible. I don't like, uh, you know, I, I don't like mushrooms in my bread pudding, but in my Philly cheese steak, I love it. <laughs> I thought you were like, yeah, I mean, wait, I, uh, so I'll we're on the same a, page. I'll take a black coffee. With a squeeze of lemon, I'd be like, I, I'm, I'm fuck fucking fuck. telling you, I will give you, I'll give you a tasting of two different coffees, and you'll know what I'm talking about. That shit's out there, you. and people are fucking wild. That. So people like to squeeze lemon into their coffee. People That's like not necessarily, but there are some Someone coffees out there that are grown in close enough proximity to have a citrusy or an orangey notes, and some people you know also like it. some coffees drinking them out of an orange husk helps bring out some flavors. We've all been there. Yeah, we've all been to Florida, where that's a fucking thing and shit, whatever. I don't know. Like coffee right here, my orange, please. Um, <laughs> that's great. Like my coffee. Final, is final is note at Angel. this moment. <laughs> They're both really good beers. I voted on the Booty Ranger last week. I switched my vote to something two that I felt was, was, sorry, two weeks ago. That was piney and like citrusy and like, was like really tempted me. Um, and they're they're both fucking real good beers. Yeah, Voodoo Ranger is like a IPA for people who don't like IPAs. 
That doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, J to the G. Sure. Let's fucking. All right, we're gonna move on to the next section, which is preliminary voting. Um, J to the G, just uh, talk us through which one you're choosing and why. You don't have to lock in your vote yet in case you might be swayed by another opinion, which is totally fine. This is a discourse. But just talk us through what you're thinking and why you're putting one towards the other. Malaysian space test because it's better. Geek. Right, cool. Yeah. Jesus. Sure. <laughs> um, I just want to clarify a couple of things real quick. It's darker because it uses black malt. It's only got two malts. That's, that's one, the whole fucking thing you clear. One's pale, one's black. That's why it's darker. Ebony and ivory. <laughs> you, know, you have been asking previously together about um, the difference between juicy and non-juicy IPAs. This is it right fucking here. Mm-hmm. This is your standard IPA. This is this is this is what started fucking IPAs. I wouldn't say not it technically. EPA, not one hundred percent. But I'm oh. saying this is this is your standard IPA and this is your juicy IPA. Also, I just want to say, yep. which one did you say of three malts? Uh, two malts. Oh, Blue Ranger. Ranger. All right. Black and pale. Well, I know this has three malts. Get out of here. Black and pale. <laughs> black and pale. Black and pale. <laughs> Um, so is that it? One's better and the other one's darker because he uses dark. <laughs> that's your whole sum- that's your whole summary there. <laughs> this is initial, okay? He's let him he's let to like feel it out, man. He's let to like you know like throw some things out there and let the man go. Let the man go. Let the man go. There it is. Hashtag Florida humor. <laughs> You'd only get it if you lived here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all right. Let's say fucking thanks, man. All right, cool. Uh, Rose, uh, Voodoo Ranger and Elysian Space Us. Which one are you leaning to, and why? Oh man, this is tough. I really. Um... I mean, to be fair, you voted for one over the other one like five weeks ago. <laughs> Someone got something going on. The no, I, I. Yeah, yeah that's true. I, I, I kind of was. But torn between Voodoo Ranger and Elysian Space Dust for my final two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I chose Elysian Space Dust at first because I just assumed that that would be the better choice. I didn't know that you guys had already decided that that, um, that was going to be in the thing regardless. Uh, oh, we but had God- to go see John Wick 3, Parabellum, and he missed that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I that was good. good job. Sorry. Uh- <laughs> Is that the uh, one where he like kills a bunch of people? That's right. Uh, yeah, sorry, no, you're thinking I think I see that. Rampage, which is a movie about a mass shooter. Which is what imagine a John Wick movie, but he's just a mass shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um uh, like some poor teacher runs over his dog. <laughs> that's, that's uh, uh, I've been thinking about that let's, for so let's, long. Okay. Let's roll. Let's, let's roll. Let's the fact roll. that you said I've been thinking about that so long. Uh, All right, this is a good sign. Go ahead, Voodoo Ranger and Allegiant Space. Space. Let's talk us through what your flavor preferences are. Why are you leaning more towards one than the other? It's so hard. You don't understand how difficult this is. This is like having to choose between my son and my daughter in a world where. Both we've decided that women, men and women are equal. All right, come on, Sophie. But um, <laughs> yeah, let me just take this last step. He gets, he gets right now, I'm going to say Elysian Space Dust. It's a little. I, I like. I feel like it's kind of like you know how uh, sperm has like the coat that which is what we call semen, and then the sperm is in the middle. <laughs> That's what I feel like Elysian Space Dust is. It has the coating of the semen with the sperm in the middle. Nice. Well, the Voodoo Ranger is more like... Voodoo Ranger is more like fire and blanks. <laughs> it's more like piss. It's just all right there. There's no coating. It's all just... <laughs> this is a fucking awful analogy. I'm just it's trying not to even an analogy. <laughs> fluids that are very similar. They come from the same place. But... 
They come. Through. I'm not saying. I'm pretty I mean, sure I we just saw a stick. They all have different holes, and they come from different body parts. <laughs> well, there, there's a, there's a little bit of a. I thought pee was stored in the. Oh, oh. I'm just saying. Balls. At the moment, I'm enjoying the Elysian Space Dust more. I guess I'm going to have to finish both of my beer. I'm going to be, because I'm a night shift person, so I'm going to be pretty toasty <laughs> for like seven hours. All right. But uh, yeah, I'm choosing Elysian Space Dust at the moment. All right. I'm going to drink, you know what? I'm going to drink it out of the bottle for the next half um, hour. No, 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 no. I, I didn't finish. I didn't pour out the whole beers. I, I put them back in the fridge because I was like, You're I drinking two six packs tonight? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. No, 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 no. I'm just drinking one <laughs> bottle of each. Stop. It's just You're like fine. Just go do it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Shuggy. What up? Bring some, re- bring some serenity to this madness. Okay. So, Talk us through so, the Elysian Space Us Voodoo Ranger. Go. All right. So, so we like to say, like, you know, we've got a bunch of IPA drinkers. Uh, and. You know, we're always going with with IPAs, like two IPAs who have been voted, blah, blah, blah. I would like to say that I did vote for the Porter Summit, Great Northern Porter. So I did vote for that as an IPA drinker. You know you can't avoid an IPA vote tonight, right? You know, I've <laughs> <laughs> so, so decided to vote for Pachanga. <laughs> <laughs> It's a five beer. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Uh, with that being said, though, this is actually a lot harder of a decision when you're drinking two beers that are just so stupidly close to together. Yeah. Like, it, it is a lot different. I chose a better beer, I believe, when I was choosing a porter, but it was a greatly different beer. Mm-hmm. And that beer has treated me well ever since I drank it. Thank you again uh, for sending some this way. I, I miss you. Yeah, that shit was good. Comment. Great song, was, Porter, we'll say. Mm, yeah, so good. All right. Um, but that being said, uh, can I go with a pass for now? Because I just <laughs> – oh, my God. <laughs> well, Give me I a second. Let me just take a goddamn sip, okay? Yeah. I would have done that too. Yeah, if I, I just figured that you guys would give me fine. shit for it. I am. I'm going to give him shit and make him choose. <sighs> you don't, Once again, you don't have to lock it in. That's the point. Just so you can get your ideas out there and get your feelers out there. Is Just that your final answer? It's, yeah, it's not a big deal. The only person who votes and stays on that, I guess, is everybody with Tanny. <laughs> Cur- <laughs> oh, Sanders, uh-huh. Currently, I'm, I'm going sorry to listen. Currently, I'm going with um, the space dust, and the and the reason being is someone said that the Voodoo Ranger tasted a little sweet to them or had like a sweet tinge to it and and not like a juicy or a hazy or a fruity notes like just to taste like sweeter mm-hmm. uh and and funny enough uh so i was talking to someone the other day no, nobody in this group uh that really really likes new belgian brewing uh but his like quarrel with it or whatever was like it always tastes like they add a little bit of sugar to their beer and he said that a little was, sugar in me. Like it was like a week oh, ago, mm. and it still it kind of hit me when I was like trying these beers, uh, and it didn't really dawn on me until I got to try them again. And I think that that little sugar kind of feel, or the uh, spice as we call it, um, is it, just is just niching it down a little bit. Come on, Sorry, man. Danny, you got to mute your... Uh... Damn cat out of there. Sorry. <laughs> You're itching toward it's the sweet, sugary spiciness of the Voodoo Ranger is itching it down for you. A little bit. A tiny bit. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, currently, it's space stuff. Okay. Um, cool. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head on up, then, to the, uh, to the execution block. Um... Uh-huh. Put them down. I, I've been, I've been, I've been thinking a lot about what everyone here is saying, um, and I keep trying. I keep like, I, I keep trying to cause diversity in my head where it's just not there, because uh, I, I do think, I do think it's 
victim to the same thing that Shuggy was saying, where it's like, they're both IPAs. You know, they both are. They're both... I think Elysian does have a little bit of juiciness to it. I wouldn't call it a juicy or a hazy IPA. I think that's, I think there are plenty other in the category that better define that. I would call it more of a standard IPA, especially the amount of hoppiness and the amount of bitterness that I get out of it. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it is a juicy or a hazy IPA. And this is because, and I, I kind of preface my vote with, I like hazy and juicies a lot more than I like standard IPAs. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm, I'm trying to think about what would be the one thing that's going to stand out the most that I like about both of these beers that I would say sticks with me the most. And I think it's when you said that it's brewed with spice, that it clicked with me, that that's what that afterburner taste that I'm getting that I like a little bit more than the juicy front. And that's really it. I would say, because I think that's, for me, that's what it is. If you're taking it from beer in mouth, I think the Space Dust is better. When I think about the finish, I like the Voodoo Ranger more. And I, I'm usually more of, I guess I'd say more of like an aftertaste, kind of like a smoky, kind of like an intonation kind of finish person. And, and, and to be fair, I think it really might come down to like a stupid ENT kind of thing. I think I don't. I don't think I get the most out of here. I think I get the most out of the back of my throat. You know what I'm saying, baby? Um, so, so I think I think that's a big determining factor in what separates a drink for me. Is while I like the Illusion Space this better as terms of like an initial flavor, I feel like it's done and over too soon. But for the Voodoo Ranger, that kind of I almost want to say cinnamony, clovey kind of thing that I'm getting in the back. That, ling Spice. that lingers to the point where I can drink that all the time and I don't like it. So for me, um, Spice. Spice is, what, is fucking all spice, baby. It ain't got nothing to do with anything. Um, fucking nature seasoning. This is fucking, this is that fucking, we're just like, we're just, we just drag the barrels around the dirt and whatever gets in there is what stays, baby. Um, but I'm going to go with Booty Ranger. I, I think I like it a little bit better. Um, and that's kind of where my boat's at right now. Um, but I mean, it, it, if I went to a bar, fucking I'd pick either one of them. But yeah. Panthers? Que paso? Drama? Um, put them <clears throat> down. Come on, man. It feels sure. bad. It feels bad to, like, compare, like, two, like, really good beers, you know? And especially, like, me is, like, not, like, a big IPA guy, but I've been, like... Mm -hmm. A little IPA guy. It's yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> small <laughs> IPA guy. Don't let him fucking How tall you. are you, man? Is we keep this feed in this guy IPAs and you? Yeah, and I like I gotta say like you like you know I said it I said it last week I said it the week before I think you guys have like you got me you got me like uh you know you got me feeling it a little bit. There's a lot of like there's there's some aspects that I like and I think that's what it comes down to what it brews down to. <laughs> is that Hashtag someone get him at, out of here <laughs> the the voodoo ranger is super good it's got those like kind of like piney notes it's got like little citrusy notes it's like a little more malty you can, you can tell just by looking at it um but just the whole juicy the yeah, hazy the like whole two glasses back to back you can see one's a little this is one. i think that the uh the elise in space dust reminds me of of a shock top done IPA really, really well. I get those orangey notes. I get the hazy notes. I feel like I could just, like, sip this on the porch, be crisp and fucking refreshing. I, and it's funny, because when I had the Elysian earlier in the season, I thought it was fine. Like, I thought it was a fine beer. Honestly, these would both probably be, like, sixes for me during the regular season. Mm -hmm. Six. But I'm going to say the, the Elysian's going to take it. It's going to take it today. Okay. Cool. All right, we're about to round out back into our uh, final voting, which is looking like a fucking slaughter right now. Um, but I think I, I'm just gonna make a brief injection before we get to the final voting. Is I think that's I think that's the thing that's gonna be the most interesting quality of the beer royale is when you have two flavors working against each other. You notice the things that you don't like, and you notice the things that you like a lot more. 
I think it's really interesting. And I think it's it's similar to like if you guys are or if you guys follow us up at Two Bottles Down Podcast on Instagram. Um, it's it's kind of like the little bullshit we got into with Rogue earlier last week, where they're like. <laughs> Where we made a post about uh, about Rogue losing to the fr- uh, the Dead Guy Ale losing to the Fresh Squeezed IPA, and he's like, "That's a bit of a weird combination," and that's where we were like, "Hey man, your fucking brewmaster said that it's a welcome comparison for IPAs, and we just put it to the test." So, uh, by the way, uh, rest in peace, Rogue Dead Guy Ale. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> You've been uh, dead the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I they wish you were still a, in the running, but just just to chime, they do have a beer that I really want to try right now. I think it's called Bat Quencher. Bat, yeah, Bat, 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 Bat Squash. Squash. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, hey, me? Yep. When? Uh, Thunder Pussy. Mmm. I Don't love remember. the taste of thunder. They had Bat Squash there. No, they had it at Revolution. I had a can of it. I showed you the fucking can. Oh, oh I do remember it was cool. I, don't I would like to try it more. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 man, you were wasted. Fucking the most wasted I've ever been in my whole life. So drunk. I'm so so drunk. I remember being like, just kind of like, your kids, coming, I just remember coming like coming back to it, and Renee's like, "I got him," and I'm like, <laughs> "What <did> I do?" <laughs> 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 so. <laughs> So, uh, J the G, um, let's, let's not mince words here. Elysian or Voodoo Ranger? I'm oh, sorry, Space Dust or Voodoo Ranger? What's it gonna be? You can say it again. It's fine. You don't have to pull it out. You don't have to Voodoo it. Ranger. Yeah, okay. I'm dead serious. Oh, yeah. I'm dead serious. So, I've been drinking this fucking Elysian. I keep taking sips between, and I get this weird. <laughs> stout kind of feel about it. it. I don't know if it's just the high ABV or what, but it's a juicier, lighter bourbon county stout. Anybody what? else see? It? Anybody else get that at all? I don't. I don't understand what's going on here. What? I haven't but, had the bourbon county stout, so I cannot comment. Okay, really. I don't know. Besides the that one, the comment sweetness of this and the high ABV remind me of a bourbon county stout. Never. No. Really quick. I keep playing it over in my head. Is it eight point two percent? Like <laughs> the the hop doesn't exist in that other beer. I know. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. Wait. Really quick though. Is that your final vote? You're logging that in. Yes. I don't buy it. So wait. What are you voting nice. for again? Just so I can get it on record. <laughs> I. J to the G. We, if you haven't seen the promo video, there's a clip of you <laughs> laughing at me. I'm, <laughs> voting for the I'm voting for the Voodoo Ranger. Oh, sweet, man. Cool. That's cool as fuck. I mean, yeah, I'm biased all the way through the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I keep going. I'm going back and forth. I take fucking drinks of water every goddamn time. This thing tastes like... Is it a uh, bourbon county? Can you explain? I've never put them side by side before. I, I mean, I'll drink this all fucking day. I'll go to the bar and I'll just drink this. As long as I'm drinking oh, just this one guy, mm-hmm. I'll drink it fucking all day long. But I don't know. Side by side, to me, mm-hmm. Voodoo Ranger is better. It's a weird Wait, side by you're, side. Saying, you're saying the space dust tastes like a bourbon county to you? It's got that sweet... And high ABV. Yeah. And that's a bad thing. Honestly, when I'm drinking an IPA, yeah. Really? I like this paste. Bro, I got I'm, this I'm guy's paste. Bro. I mean, if I'm going to drink a fucking Bourbon County Stout, it's going to be a Bourbon County Stout. I don't want to fucking have that heavy fucking thick coat mouthfeel. Bro. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Where the that's fuck are scary. we right now? I don't know. Know. Yeah, dude, I love. Where's the fucking like scary door right now? <laughs> that's certainly interesting. That's an interesting. I it is good. It's you know it is. Oh, wait, wait, just, and this just, guy's fucking losing his mind. Just to try, just to kind of, just to kind of clarify, because I'm, you, know, I see you can feel it in the back of my throat now too. Just to clarify what what it is. Is it just because it it feels like a heavier IPA by comparison? Is this something that's more like? 
the carbonation of the Voodoo Ranger makes it feel lighter, or is it also the ABV where it just feels like it's an easier drink? Bruh. Easier? Bruh. What? Sorry, no, like, like it's an easier anything. thing to drink is what I'm saying. Like if you're trying to knock back a few IPAs, are you going to knock back three of one or three of the other? Is that what the situation is? I'm trying to get the clear clarification on your point here. No, you can tell that this has a higher ABV when you drink it. Yeah, for sure. And I'm not saying that, I mean, sometimes, yeah, you drink to get drunk, but I'm, I'm not saying that whatsoever right now. I'm saying that because of the higher ABV, because of the sweetness of it, and I don't know how I never noticed it before, but it does have, it leaves kind of a film in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and because of those three factors, those all are the same fucking things I get when I drink something like this. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It makes me wonder. And that is compared to, Where's the sweetness? That um, compared to the fucking Voodoo Ranger, which is just crisp and light. It goes two down. Glasses. Fucking tiny. Yeah, it's two different glasses. It doesn't matter. You can't do that. Yes, I can't. Watch. <laughs> um, it, is, it just makes me think, like, is it because of Rose's explanation? Did that change your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because he said that he likes this one a lot and it's good. That made me fucking change my life. <laughs> well, no, he didn't no vote he's for it. he's he never fucking taste test. I yeah, know, yeah, but, is exactly it cause, but is it because of his point about the fact that it leaves you that creamy, like, film in your mouth? Is that one of the because of the you're semen? I was, talking about the I semen. Go back yeah, the that. semen. <laughs> he would rather <laughs> drink piss than the semen. <laughs> I, I, what we I, I don't know what the, for sure. the fuck is happening right now. Uh, Can we just go to the next fucking yeah. tape? That's fine, right? That's the final. That's a 1 0 for the Voodoo Ranger so far. Uh, Rose, to a, Rose to a beer fight. Um, <laughs> I woke up at 6 p.m. All right. Um, the Holy fuck shit. does that have to do with anything? It's Come just like, some random ass <laughs> these are both very like high ABV beers. <laughs> high ABV beers, but um, yeah, it's like asking me to choose between Karen Gillan and Scarlett Johansson. Uh, that I would say this no, is Scarlett no. Johansson. This you is already Karen said like choosing between piss and semen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is. <laughs> Well, these are different spectrums, all right? Now we go from... Uh, you just good called old... Karen Gillan piss. Yeah, it's the same as Scarlett Johansson. I call <laughs> Scarlett Johansson the semen. So what is... well, she has had a baby, so I think she's fine with that. Wait, who had who had a baby? Shut up, man. Semen. Come on, pay attention to the right. thing. Make a anyway, like, damn it, dude. No, I'm trying to figure out who's single and who's not. All right, so... Scarlett Johansson has two kids. She's been married twice. Come on. Oh, man. fuck. All right, anyways. Is um, that make you going to vote for Voodoo Ranger now? In the end of the day, yeah, I do prefer Karen Gillan. What uh, Voodoo fuck? Ranger. Yeah, you know, I, I. here's the thing. I used to think Scarlett Johansson is the most beautiful woman in the world <laughs> until Karen Gillan stepped hey. into my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really quick, I need to know. Voodoo Ranger. Voodoo Ranger is the I, I choose. So wait, I just, choose you. Is that your final vote? Do you have like a, like yes. a more thoroughly thought? I mean, I could go into. Uh, I would like to know why, considering you edged out one and then you switched. Why did you switch? As I drank it more out of the bottle, I will admit, drinking it out of the bottle, there is a slightly different experience, and um, I prefer Voodoo Ranger out of the bottle. Like it's it's out really? of the glass. It's a little out of the glasses. It was a little bit more hard to decide. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say Elysian Space does does kind of taste better out of the glass, maybe. But I'm a bottle person, and, and drinking it out of the bottle is almost no contest. I prefer Voodoo Ranger. Okay, we are going yeah. to loop back around. Can you do me a favor <laughs> while we're finalizing our votes? Can you pour the Space Dust into a bottle? Or into a glass and try both and tell me which one you like better by the end of it. It's not going to count as a vote. I just want your opinion. All right, okay. All right. All right so so it's... both of them? No, fuck ass. The one you like just better in the rest? preferred medium. If you like the space that's better in a glass, drink that in a glass and drink the bottle in the bottle. Oh, so I, I get Yeah, sorry. That was rude. I'm sorry. Just do that, please. Sorry. Just, I just want to hear your thoughts on it. God damn it. I will never forgive you. To be fair, it was kind of a dick. I didn't have to call you fuck ass, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> 
By the way, we're drinking beers. Like, it's first of all, I've tried to fuck ass and, and uh, I failed. Which break the deck? <laughs> all right, save that for later. Um, Shuggy. Hey, buddy. I don't even fucking say anymore. I, nothing I fucking say matters. <laughs> fuck this whole fucking battle royale. Fuck everything. Royale. Fuck all of you flip flopping. Well, it's a battle royale now. Bitches. We're gonna fucking <laughs> fight. It's a battle royale with you. Insanity. This is fucking. There's no morals. Nobody has any fucking standards. We just uh, say a bunch of shit about how much we love something, and then we flip on it, and then we fuck the reverse Gillen, again. Dude. It's just a fucking Uno deck full of reverse, hey, hey, hey. reverse, 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 <laughs> reverse, 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 reverse. Space <laughs> test on its own, standing by itself. Don't fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't have time for your vote. This is both solid reverse, beers, man. Reverse, uh, reverse, reverse. I'm uh, choosing. Fucking space dust. I said my reasons why, and I don't have to reverse to get fucking national attention. Okay. <laughs> that's uh that's two one. It's a two one right there. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna move to me next. Um That's a great idea. Might as well just make Panty go, so at least it won't be a fucking won't be pointless anti- anticlimactic. Yeah. Um Well I want I wanna bring up one thing. I just wanna pose one quick question. Just before I state my vote, and I want to get some clarity here. You guys ever, like, watch the playoffs, and you're like, man, I really hope this team wins because I know my team can beat that team? Is that what just, you were doing? Just Soul's saying. Thing. No, asshole, I like the Voodoo Ranger oh, okay. more, you dick. <laughs> but, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to ask, is that what, is that, is, is just to, for clarification, who are you looking at? Yeah, we can't tell because you in gotta the, the stream up. I gotta go to the stream yeah, to see who you're be on the stream. It gives us the one. It gives us both. Um, yeah, I, I kind of stand. I hate, to, I hate to be a fucking prick. I stand. I, I, I stand with my original point. Um, yeah, I like the aftertaste is better, but I think the upfront flavor of the Elysian Space Dust is superior to the Vita Ranger. But I don't think that sustains long term drinkability. And on that note, too, I feel like I'm more inclined to pound a six-pack of Voodoo Ranger than I am to pound a six-pack of Space Dust. It's all about what we should pound a six-pack of. Now I'm changing all of my fucking votes because I'd like <laughs> to pound a six-pack of Bourbon County Stout every fucking day until I'm dead. That'll take two uh, days. Take that I'd, like, that I'd that. like to pound uh, your six pack. <laughs> take, that, take that shit with a loaf of bread. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Um, so with that, being, with that being said... I'm going to cast my vote, no whammy, on the Voodoo Ranger, leaving us at a 3-1. Canning, which one are you casting your vote for? Canning, you fucking vote for Voodoo so I can hate you like the hey, rest of them. More important than anything else, you gotta remember, <laughs> this is a teaching opportunity, and we want No, 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 people, fuck you. The other day you're people... like, there are no teams, and then immediately you're like, I'm on teams. I'm not on teams. I'm happy the Voodoo Ranger is pulling out an upset. I'm kind of annoyed that I just bought a six pack of Elysian thinking it's going to win. So now oh, I'm dude, gonna... but you can at least that. enjoy Elysian for the rest of the week, bro. Guess who else did that? But the yeah. only person I'm going to share it with is the other person who is about to vote Space Dust. My boy. <laughs> G to My boy. The G. Jeez. Like, oh, yeah, man, whoever man. wins or loses, we still win because uh, we get to drink the other beer for the rest of the week. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I've been thinking about. Not when you I, buy an extra yeah. six pack. Yeah. You can enjoy your life. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. But... You, all right, really quick. Panny, Panny, can you just, just walk us through which one are you choosing as a final vote? Hear everyone else's opinions. Why are you choosing what you're drinking? Even drink so I'm going to say the Elysian Space Dust. <laughs> so, so juicy. So fresh. Like, and I said that it's like like a shop top if it was an IPA and done right. Mm-hmm. And I know fucking J- Jade of the G over there fucking rolled his eyes when I said that shit. He fucking he didn't like that shit at all. I, I like that I, description. I, yeah, I absolutely like. I want something juicy. I want something a little bit fruity. I want something that's like you bite into it and it's like bursts in your mouth. 
fucking good. It's a little bit dank. It's fucking hazy. It's fucking crisp. It's fucking good to drink. And that's why I think Jada the G is a fucking scum fuck <laughs> bastard liar. Because the fucking Voodoo Ranger IPA, it's good. I voted for it last week. It's citrusy. It's piney. It tastes good. But when you compare it to this, like... It's malty as fuck. It tastes like dirt. It smells like mushrooms. Get that the fuck out of here. Damn, Elysian Space dude. Dust all fucking damn day. I know you all are scum fuck bastard liars. You cannot be trusted. You're all behind the scenes. We got your own mechanisms. You're playing your own games. This is the real fucking winner this week. And we all fucking know it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's really just saying that because he knows I'll share that. Okay. Okay. That's all. That's all fair. I have one rebuttal. <laughs> what are you gonna rebut, dude? We lost. I have, I have one rebuttal. I have one oh, rebuttal. Panny. Panny. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let, let me grab my bottles real quick. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me go. Let me go. Fucking grab my bottles again. <laughs> Oh man, it's funny. <laughs> that was my that was my great Gatsby, by the way. Listen, listen yeah, to me, so, so good. listen to me, assholes who switch sides <laughs> mid vote. You're not allowed to do that. There's a reason why we have a lock in vote. <laughs> not said that was going to be All right. Uh, with that being said, I think we can officially lock the score in at three two Voodoo Ranger. God damn. Um, you have to go buy it. I'm very upset Get at that. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I, think, I think I think this Still is more. I, I think, you can't change your I, vote now. You know, right? <laughs> break the ball thinking it was losing, dude. I encourage you. I went, two we more. went we went from the first <laughs> we, we went from the first one being we went from the first set of votes being four one to three two. That's absolutely astounding to me. I was like, man, this is going to be a fucking white. This going to suck so much. I thought that too, dude. I thought um, Elysian Space Dust was going to win hard. That was a guy. That was a guy. That was a guy. That was a guy. That was a That was a fix this episode. Dude, you didn't think shit, bros. You were the deciding vote. Once I don't think did, about shit. Over. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, just. Don't standards. I, I, I still, I'm not, I'm not convinced that. That Rose is going to do the right thing. <laughs> no, no, dude, I am legitimate. I am from, legitimate. Rose did it for the memes. And Jane of the G did, did it, it for the memes. He's going to blow it down on the water. <laughs> you know, so, what? Because you think uh, there's this girl that I'm trying to get. The ranger out of the water. I would have taken a legion, too. You know, that's probably true. Yo, fuck you. They would have taken a legion, too. Bullshit. Did it all for the nookie. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I think it's exciting. Um, so, uh, just for a little bit of clarity before we kind of get into the nonchalant section of the last section of the video, of which we have plenty of time. Um, not that much. Um, <laughs> um, so, the Booty Ranger pulled off an upset and beat the Elysian Space Dust. And it will be going on to the semifinals where it will play against the winner of the Jolly Pumpkin La Roja versus the Cigar City Maduro. Um, Maduro. Maduro. Maduro, Maduro. So, uh, Bra Rose to the Bra, Bra Rose to the beer fight. We're at the end of the episode right now. Have you drank the Space Dust out of a glass and the Ranger out of a bottle? And tell me which one you I like have. best. In terms yeah, of um, well, I ran out of the Space Dust in the glass. And, I'm, and uh, this is basically dead. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? My brain is uh, not really. It, I, 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 do I have to choose? Because I, I am really. Yeah, well, both... To be fair, it should be a pretty easy answer considering what your vote just was. But do you think it's? Do you think is it something where it's glass to glass and bottle to bottle? It's different votes. And then if if that's the case, the winner of glass versus the winner of bottle, which one do you think you lean towards? Well, space dust in a glass, voodoo ranger in a bottle. I'm gonna say it's pretty much equal. Mm -hmm. I can't make a choice. You already made your fucking choice. It is so good. I mean, I made a choice. I I choose the voodoo ranger overall. All right, Mm -hmm. I choose the voodoo ranger overall. Mm -hmm. But space dust in a glass, Mm -hmm. voodoo ranger in a bottle. 
God damn, dude. It's like, it's so good. And this is also pretty. Uh. That's just what makes it so so fun and interesting to kind of go through this episode. I think it's really interesting how, and like, and I, I think that's that's the issue that I want to push more important than anything else. It really is what do these two beers taste like when you compare them directly against each other? You know, it's I, hard. I, I, I would say this is the most difficult. This is the most difficult choice of that to make. But, but, I, think but I, I, I do stand by it. Your entire video. life. Mm-hmm. But yeah, in my entire life. And I've had to come up with some bad uh, decisions, man. Wait, what? I have a vasectomy. You had to come up with some bad decisions. <laughs> um, my balls have been removed. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have them anymore. That's, that's snap, my, snap, that's, snap, snap. That was a choice that uh-huh. I made. 25 years ago, Rose made a choice to keep his testicles. Or to go on fighting and drinking Modelo. I couldn't drink Modelo if I <laughs> had balls. So. Uh-huh. Um, but no, uh, I, I, if I had to choose between Karen Gillan and Scar- Scarlett Johansson, that's what it really comes so down to. So I want, I want to, I want to take a brief segue into swing boat section here. Five minutes. Yeah, thank you. Um, Panny, Knowing how things turned out, would you have switched the Great Summer Porter with the Voodoo Ranger? Which would you prefer over the Elysian Space Dust, if any at all? I knew what I picked when I picked it. Voodoo Ranger was better, so I don't know what the. You don't think the different you don't think the different flavor profiles would make a change on your boat overall? Voodoo Ranger was better than Great Porter Summit to me, and that's not going to change because I think that. Maybe Great Porter would have been a better matchup to the fucking Elysium. That's, well, no, that's, that, that's, that's a moot point. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, fair enough to that sense. Um, Shuggy, let me rephrase the question. You voted for the Great Northern Porter. Being in a completely different beer than the Elysian Space Dust, do you think that you might have leaned more towards one way or the other? I'm not saying that one might be less of a qualitative beer, but rather a different matchup of flavors. It's a lot of words, man. I don't understand. I don't, yeah. <laughs> like, would you, in the, in the case of, so the Elysian Space Dust versus Let's the Vita Ranger is a battle of two IPAs versus IPAs. Which would you prefer, an IPA or a porter in this circumstance? That's what the question is. Oh, no. We I, did. I think two IPAs should always be up against each other. I think this is a better battle i think that the turnout was shit but what do i what do i know mm-hmm. okay i i don't like the fact that i had to choose a porter over an ipa as an ipa drinker i chose the better beer that's what it comes down to mm-hmm. but i don't i think i think this is a better experience because drinking two ex- a completely different beers causes um uh, I don't know, maybe some kind of awkward bias where I, here I don't have any chance to be biased. I'm going to pick the better of the two beers, I think, uh, or uh, besides the fact that I bought another six-pack recently. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, but that's not that's not the point at all. I, I'm not biased, but there's a six-pack right here because I knew that. I, I can be bribed for $10. <laughs> No, hold on. Hold on. It didn't matter. It didn't fucking matter. So, uh, whatever. Um, uh-huh. Anyways. Um. I and mean, I was right to begin with. It was fucking 4-1 until you flip-flop bitches showed up. The, the thing is, flip-flopping is fine. The wrong beer won. Wow. Wow. That's what I said. Take it from episode. a flip-flopper from the Fuck first you, episode. Panny. <laughs> And, um, I'm telling you, Flip Floppy's fine. And, and, <laughs> Fuck all of you. And, and just for the sake of clarifying my point, in case Panny thinks I'm trying to skew for the person that I voted for, which is not the case, I've been thinking a lot about the fact that we did the Dead Guy Ale, which was a Maybach, and it was supposed to be a comparison of something you can counter to an IPA. Whatever. <laughs> so He's like, Fuck it, I want him out. <laughs> so... <laughs> so <laughs> So um, I, I want, I, I've been thinking about which IPAs do I think would match up well against like the Dead Guy Ale in terms of not like a competition, but rather uh, like in comparison or a complement of each other. 
So I think that was the thing that I always thought was interesting was when we were doing the Deschutes last week, it was very much back here and then very much up here. And I wonder, I, I don't think I would like the Voodoo Ranger and the Maybach at the same time. I will tell you this, if I had to choose between, <laughs> between Elysian or, uh, or Voodoo Ranger or uh, the Rogue Dead guy, I would have picked either of the two IPAs again. That appeared did not resonate well with me. Okay. That's totally cool. That's totally fair. But yeah, I was just trying to think, did you guys not get, I mean, am I, am I alone in that experience that I thought the two created kind of complimentary experiences where it kind yeah. of creates a whole mouthfeel overall? So that's what I'm trying to get. That's basically what I'm trying to get at is, do you think one would be, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? I lost my <laughs> God damn it. Get out of here. All right. So <laughs> now we're all right. Guest, tell me, what are your final thoughts while you're troubleshooting how to make your fucking video camera work on screen? Okay. Um, phone. Yeah, he is for sure. Hey, uh, J and the G, what are your final thoughts, hot boy? Oh, shit. Uh, Joker comes out this week. Woo. Does it really? I thought it came out last week. <clears throat> it comes out Thursday. Sickness. I want to see it. I told you that it seemed really good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What? Me? I'm panning. He yelled something. Oh, yeah. and... I heard a robot. Yeah. yeah he's... Oh, it's from his. I got it. I'll fucking kick you out. Turn that shit yeah, off. Kick his ass out of here. here. Shit off. No, oh, dude, no. Let's, no. Here. Oh, let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. All right, JDG. Uh, yeah, so Jerk comes out this week. Drink local. Drink local. That's fair enough. Uh, Penny, um, never mind. Rose, what are your final thoughts? <laughs> You're still well, salty. I, uh, I just died a power <laughs> outage. <laughs> oh, shit, really? Yeah, yeah I, was trying to, I was trying gear. to get in on my phone mm-hmm. to, to because my power was out for a while, so. Uh, I don't know what that was, but um, my final thoughts. Uh, shit. Well, I just want to. I want to give a shout out to um, Rogue Dead Guy. Dead Guy uh, rest, in rest in peace. And um, I rewatched the movie Edmund, which is a wonderful movie. I highly recommend it to everyone. Mm-hmm. Fucking watch that. I, it, it, I it love it so pick? much. What <laughs> is that a body pick? No, <laughs> it's called. <laughs> uh-huh. It's called. Are watch these fucking starring episodes? William H Macy. It's directed by Stuart Gordon, the same guy who did uh, From Beyond mm-hmm. and King of the Ants. Cool. <clears throat> Is it good? He got. He got. He had a fucking power. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he voted for the wrong beer. Now God is smiting That's him. What it is. Hey, good. I, uh, Panny. Uh, talk to me. Um, final thoughts. PG. So can I? Yeah. Is it cool? It. I, cool. Yep. So I want to talk about uh, uh, what was that? Super Switch. We saw this uh, this this yesterday, last night, and then also Lex and Z here, the Lex Cut artist. Uh, we saw them last night. They were dope super, as super fuck. Smack. Super Smack. Thank you. Super Smack. Mm-hmm. Lex Town artist. Super, super cool, like, really great artist. I got the hat here. Um, wanted to, like, match Shug with, like, the black shirt, the hat feel. Like, you know, Sean's got the black shirt, like, black hat, fucking, you know. The, it's basically, it's like, uh, it's the, you know. It's the Indiana Boys hot boys take. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. That's T.O.S., don't do it. <laughs> Certified it fan. would be su- it'd be super hot, but don't do it. Uh, and... Listen local and drink loyal. Nice. Must take with loyal. that. It's a good yeah, ending. Point to have, man. Yeah. Be loyal. <laughs> <laughs> like, zero self awareness. <laughs> hey. All right, guys. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for watching tonight. Uh, be sure to join us next week. We're going to be doing the Jolly Pumpkin La Roja versus the Cigar City Maduro. And uh, that winner will go on to play against the Voodoo Rangers for the semifinals. Um, be sure to check us out. Ranger. Two bottle, the Voodoo Ranger. Uh, be sure to check us out on twobottlesdown.com and also on our Podbeat channel if you want to see some of our episodes being slowly integrated from season one. And we're going to catch on with that. Um, follow us on Instagram and Fabu 
at, uh, at Two Bottles Down Podcast. And once again, thanks everybody for watching us, and we'll see you all next week. Shogi, what are your final thoughts? How about you? Thanks, everybody. Uh, so a couple of things. I just want to say uh, last night's show was dope. Thanks to my boy Penny for going with me. Shout out to Lex Lexicon Artist, uh, Super Smack, and of course my boy D Bane. Uh, also tonight I'm uh, in in the night with a Sweetwater uh, Kick Plastic Pilsner. Sweetwater baby, Sweetwater, so love you. Appreciate you. Uh, let me uh, get that going in a second. Let's get this shit. Uh, but yeah, drink local, listen local, listen to Bye indie local. shit or whatever, Bye and uh, locals. fucking be loyal. <laughs> 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 <laughs>